Chapter Four Nervous System Get Into Tick the correct option on the basis of your previous learning. Number one This part of the body is the control center of the body. A. Spinal cord B. Brain Number two This system controls everything you do. A. Respiratory system B. Nervous system Number three the nervous system is made up of these three parts. A. Brain, spinal cord, and nerves. B. Brain, heart, and spinal cord. The nervous system is the main control unit and transmission center of our body. It makes us aware of our surroundings and enables us to react to whatever is happening around us. Our nervous system comprises of the brain, spinal cord, and nerves. Brain, spinal cord, nerves, brain. The brain controls and coordinates all our actions. It receives information from all parts of the body, takes decisions, and sends messages. It helps us to think and memorize. It looks like a walnut. It is located at the top of the spinal cord and is protected by the skull. The human brain has three main parts, cerebrum, cerebellum, and medulla. Structure of a brain, cerebrum, cerebellum, medulla. Find an answer. How much does our brain weigh? Infomine, the space between the skull and brain and the inside of the brain is filled with a clear liquid which serves as a cushion against jerks and injuries. Cerebrum is the dome-shaped outermost part of the brain. It is the largest part of the brain. It is the center of intelligence. It is responsible for learning, thinking, memory, and logic. It controls the working of all our sense organs except the skin. Cerebellum. Cerebellum is situated behind the cerebrum at the back of the head. It controls the voluntary movements of our body. It also maintains our balance and body posture. Infomine. Our movements become jerky if the cerebellum is not able to work properly. Medulla. The medulla is a bulb-shaped structure which lies below the cerebellum. It connects the brain to the spinal cord. It controls all the involuntary actions like breathing, beating of your heart, digestion, blood pressure, etc. It works even when we are asleep. Spinal cord. The spinal cord is a thick bundle of nerves that extends from the medulla to almost the end of the vertebral column. It is surrounded and protected by the bony vertebral column. Nerves from various parts of the body join it from either side of the vertebral column. Thus, the spinal cord transmits messages between the brain and the rest of the body. Brain, spinal cord, vertebra. Spine. Nerves. Nerves are the bundle of fibers that carry messages between the brain and other parts of the body. They form a link between the brain and other parts of the body. Nerves are made up of special cells called nerve cells or neurons. Nerves are of three types. Sensory nerves, motor nerves, and mixed nerves. Sensory nerves. These carry messages from the sense organs to the spinal cord and the brain. When the brain interprets these messages, we are able to see, hear, smell, feel, etc. Motor nerves. These carry messages from the brain and the spinal cord to the glands and muscles. This helps in the movement of muscles and secretion of essential fluids by glands. Mixed nerves. These carry messages to the spinal cord and the brain 
as well as bring orders from the brain and the spinal cord. These nerves are made up of both sensory as well as motor fibers. Infomine. Each half of the brain controls the opposite half of the body. Reflex actions. We know that the nervous system controls all the actions of our body. However, some of the actions are automatic. We perform them without thinking. Such actions are called reflex actions. These are the actions through which the body protects itself. These actions involve only the nerves and the spinal cord. The spinal cord decides what to do and quickly sends the decision to the body parts. For example, when our finger comes too close to a hot object, the sensory nerves immediately pass a message to the spinal cord. The spinal cord sends orders through the motor nerves for the muscles to tighten up. We pull our hand away from the hot object even before we feel pain. Some other examples of reflex actions are watering of your mouth over the sight of tasty food, pulling of your hand away on touching a sharp object, shutting off eyes when bright light focus on them, and so on. Reflex action. Pain receptors in skin. Hot object. Direction of impulse. Muscle contracts and withdraws the part being stimulated. The spinal cord. Sense organs. The sense organs are windows to the world. They help us to understand what is happening around us. We have five sense organs. Eyes, ears, nose, skin, and tongue. These organs help us to see hear, smell, feel, and taste. Eyes. Eyes help us to see different things around us. Eyes roughly have spherical shapes. The outer coat of the eye is white. The eyelids and eyelashes protect the eyes from dust and dirt. Cornea is the transparent front part of the eye. Behind the cornea, there is a dark muscular structure called iris. The iris is the colored part of the eye. There is a small opening in the iris called pupil. The pupil allows the light to enter the eye. As light enters the pupil, it is bent by the lens behind the pupil. The lens focuses the image of the object on the back of the eyeball. This part is called retina. The optic nerves connect the eye to the brain. The retina takes the light that the eye receives and changes it into nerve signals. These signals are passed to the brain through the optic nerves so that the brain can understand what the eye is seeing. Structure of an eye Iris Pupil Cornea Lens Retina Optic nerve Care of the eyes do not read in dim light. Do not watch television for long periods of time. Do not rub your eyes with dirty hands. Do not read in a moving vehicle. Wash your eyes regularly with clean water. Infomine. Eyes are composed of more than 2 million working parts. Ears. Ears help us to hear different sounds. Ears have three different parts, outer ear, middle ear, and inner ear. The outer ear is called pinna. It is the visible ear part. Pinna, or the outer ear, helps in collecting sounds. Pinna also includes the ear canal. The sounds enter the outer ear, pass through the ear canal to the middle ear. The middle ear includes the eardrum which collects the sound waves and turns them into vibrations. The eardrum separates the outer ear from the middle ear by three delicate bones. The three delicate bones are malleus, incus, and stapes. The sound waves reach the eardrum, cause the eardrum to vibrate, and this vibration moves these three delicate bones. 
These bones allow sound to move into the inner ear. The inner ear includes a small coiled tube lined by tiny cells. The nerve signals created by these cells send messages to the brain which enables us to hear the sounds. Structure of an ear. Ear canal. Pinna. Ear drum. Malleus. Incus. Stapes. Middle ear. Inner ear. Nerves. Care of your ears. Clean your ears with cotton buds. Do not insert any sharp objects into your ears. Do not hear loud sounds as it can damage your eardrum. Nose. Nose helps us to smell different things around us. The nose has two holes called nostrils. When we smell a rose, the smell enters through the nostrils, passes through the nasal passage, and reaches the nasal cavity. On the roof of the nasal cavity is the olfactory nerves and the olfactory bulb. The olfactory bulb sends the message to the brain. The brain reads the message and enables us to smell the rose. Structure of a nose. Nasal passage. Olfactory bulb. Nasal cavity. Oral cavity. Lips. Pharynx. Epiglottis. Jaw. Care of your nose. Keep your nose always clean. Do not pick your nose with sharp objects. Inhale steam to clear a blocked nose. Infomine. Dogs have a sense of smell that is many times more sensitive than a human's. Skin. Skin helps us to feel different things around us. It is made up of three layers. Number one, epidermis. Number two, dermis. Number three, hypodermis, subcutaneous fat. When we touch the object, the skin sends the message to the brain through the nerve endings. The brain reads the message and enables us to feel the object. Layers of skin. Hair. Hair follicle. Blood vessels. Epidermis. Dermis. Hypodermis. Subcutaneous fat. Sebaceous gland. Sweat gland. Care of your skin. Keep your body clean by taking regular baths with gentle soap. Always wear clean clothes. Use antiseptic lotions in case of cuts, wounds, and scratches. Tongue. Our tongue helps us to taste different things around us. The surface of the tongue includes bumps called taste buds. There are different types of taste buds which can detect sweet, sour, bitter, and salty flavors. Each taste bud has taste cells. When we eat food, it touches the taste buds. These buds send messages to the brain through nerves or taste cells. The brain reads the message and enables us to know the taste. Taste buds. Sweet. Sour, bitter, salty. Infomine. Women in general have a greater number of taste buds than men. Up for review. Complete the series. Number one. Taste buds. Tongue. Bundle of fibers. Dash. Number two. Breathing. Nose. Heartbeat. Dash. Number three. Cerebellum, balance, cerebrum, dash. Number four, ear, hear, eyes, dash. Take a look. Nervous system, brain, cerebrum, cerebellum, medulla, spinal cord, nerves, sensory, motor, mixed.